Hey all, in this video, I'm going to be talking about views in MongoDB and how you can create them. So a view is essentially just an aggregation pipeline. Uh, in SQL, I just think of them as virtual tables, but it's essentially the same thing. It doesn't get stored on disk or anything. It actually gets computed whenever the user queries it. So those are just some things to know about views. But here we have a collection and you, you uh, get started creating views by going to your collection and then aggregations. So here we have the documents, go to aggregations. And here I've just matched it to a particular document, which is easy to work with and it's just for demonstration purposes. But essentially you just add in whichever um, pipeline stages that you want. For this, I've just uh, filtered it down to Apple. and. Within this particular document, I have uh, various different objects. So one of the objects is like income statements. And in this, we have two arrays. And then each of these contains objects. So this is pretty cool. Um, but whenever you want to see historical trends or something, this isn't particularly helpful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of the revenue figures into a single array. And I want the user to be able to view that whenever they query this view. So in order to do that, we have to go to uh, create a new pipeline stage. And this is just going to be a projection. So you can keep uh, particular objects or sub documents within your one document by just specifying one within a projection. So I want to keep the profile as well because that I don't need to aggregate anything within that. So here is an example of that. Next, I want to get the aggregation for the revenues. So in order to do that, I have to use the following syntax. So essentially, you go down to whichever document you have and find the field within the document that you want. So here, I'm actually in the quarterly one. So let me go there. And within here, we have revenue. So you would specify that you want this, and this is specifying the particular location you want it in the view, but this is specifying where you can find it within the document. And you just need to um, add this prefix of a dollar sign to the document in order to get that. But essentially you end up with the revenue here, which is just going to be all of the historical revenue in an array. So that's a lot cleaner than having to sift through all of these objects for that particular field. Okay, so once you've got your projections done, you can save your view or create it by just going to this button, you click the drop down, and then you create your view. So I'm just gonna call this delete me because I don't really need to save it. For me, this gets stuck here, but you can just exit out and it will appear here. So this is cool. But another th cool thing about views is that you can also join collections to them. So let's go and do that. I'm gonna go into my aggregation pipeline again. And here we're gonna go with lookup. And essentially this is just a join in the MongoDB syntax. But you just have to specify from what collection do you wanna join. So I have another collection called Revesta. And then you specify which fields you're gonna join on. And then finally, what is that collection going to be called within your documents in the view? So here is that join. And now it put it in an array, even though it's an object. So I'm gonna add a new, another stage here. And this is gonna be called unwind. And this will just turn that array into an object. Here you see it's an object now. And now let's add another stage for projecting which particular fields we want within this document. So we'll say project. And we can also compute fields within a particular projection. So for instance, this does not have an S&P 500 uh, sub document. So I want to state that it's not part of the S&P 500. And all you have to do for that is you just create a condition saying that if it contains that particular sub document, then state true. 
and if it doesn't state false and that's what this is doing so that's also useful for adding flags and modifying your data so you'd be able to create a view the same way that we did before I'm not going to create a view here if you're wanting to increase query performance all you would have to do is go to the underlying collection and then add in indexes to whichever fields you're wanting to increase performance on. So for me, one of the main fields in my collection, which I need to query on is this ticker field. So I went into my indexes and created a ticker index for that particular field. And now the view is just lightning quick. So here we'll say ticker is Apple and it'll return very quickly. And when I didn't have this in, it would take, I don't know, 20 seconds is ridiculous. So once you've created a view back in your code, you would just query it like you'd query a collection. So that's what I'm going to do for one of my views here. So that's all that I really have to say about views in MongoDB. I hope that you guys got something out of this and thank you very much for watching.